In today's video, we're on an old felt roof. It's 25 years old, but we know it's approaching the end of its days. It doesn't leak, it's in good condition, but we're gonna give it a new lease of life with a polyurethane system, which will give it another 25 years. So the most important task on any overlay project is first the preparation. First of all, this roof has never leaked and we've also had a week of dry weather. There's no spongy areas either. If there were, then these would have to be ripped out and then replaced. We are pretty lucky with this roof as it is quite clean. However, it will need a good broom and also there are certain bits that are green and if it's green, it's growing, so they'll have to be jet washed off. Roofs that are in permanent shade will more than likely have moss growth as well. So these need to be properly jet washed and then allowed to dry before that system goes on top. So often on an older felt roof, you will have blisters and bubbles. For smaller blisters, you can cut them out and then use the PU adhesive just to smooth that over. But for larger blisters like this one here, I'll end up cutting this and then fixing it back down with some clout nails. So next is the roof perimeters. I'll be replacing these wall edges with new flashings. The felt's been mortared into the brickwork, which isn't best practice. So we'll be reusing the tilt fillets that are underneath this felt. We're not going to disturb them. The manufacturer does recommend using them though if you don't have any. I'll also be taking off these arras rails as well because we'll be replacing these with brand new trims. The last point I'll make, um, if this roof was above a kitchen or restaurants are particularly bad for this, is grease. This will stop the new system bonding to the old substrate, so this will need to be thoroughly jet washed away before you install. So while the principles apply to any new liquid overlay, watch out for the next video when we'll be fitting the new Alberflex system on this roof. So we're carrying on with our roof prep today that we're getting ready for one of our liquid systems that we're going to overlay this old felt roof with. So yesterday we gave this roof a good broom down, a good jet wash. It's definitely something that we would recommend jet washing the roof. You could see how much dirt and how much grit came off. And because you are going to be bonding to this substrate, you want it as clean as possible. There are a few things that I still need to prep though before this roof is actually ready to be overlaid. Firstly, I've got to take these two arras rails off. That's because the manufacturer have their own trims that create this curb up stand. Next, I'll be putting in a tilt fillet there. At the minute, it's just a 90 degree angle and the liquid system that we're going to be overlaying with needs that so it can be dressed up the up stand. After that, I'll be chasing out the wall because it needs new wall flashings. And lastly, I'll be making good all these blisters. So things like this. So I'll be cutting them out and securing them back down because we want a nice even surface for that liquid system to bond to. So that's all the prep work that's planned for today before the overlay tomorrow. Let's get on with it. all the prep work done today and um, this is ready now for our overlay system which we're going to be doing in our next video it might seem like a lot of work but it is really important you get this prep work done correctly first <laughs> 